our un- unworthiness or our belief that we're unworthy is very profitable. Like, yeah. Which there sounds is a like conspiracy theory. Billion dollar business is yeah. founded off of our unworthiness. We need to consume X, Y, and Z to create some sort of belief in worth. It's feed this giant consumerism hungry ghost that operates predominantly the whole of the United States. Mm-hmm. Like it's a one massive industry and business that profits of us believing that we are not worthy. So we'll see it across so many different industries, whether it's the makeup industry or the clothing industry or the car industry. Or like, I mean, there's just so many, so many places, almost impossible to name all of them. Yeah. And then there's another piece that like that, this hasn't just been running for our generation. This is, this is runs generations, generations deep of unworthiness. So from the moment that we're born and we, we for the first however many years of our life, we, we look to our mothers as a reference point of how we're doing and a mother has a deep sense of unworthiness. We start believing that that is actually who we are because anything unresolved within our mother or our father then gets projected onto us and then we're now healing the generation before us before we can even get a go with our lives and our unique dharma. So... There's something that someone said the other day, which I really resonate with, is like this next generation will not, if we've done the work within this generation, which a lot of people are now having the privilege to be able to do, a privilege to actually move beyond survival into thriving mode, then the next generation won't have to heal our generation's work so that they'll actually from the get-go be able to be in their genius and be into the, in the brilliance. But mm. I think we're also still healing, you know, the, the memory of, of, of our matriarch and patriarchal lines. 